Deficiency of vitamin D leads to weakening of your bones and pathological fractures and sometimes lowering of your body's immunity. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin which is essential for the human body and its main function is in the structure and maintenance of bones. First of all, vitamin D is the only vitamin in the body which can be manufactured by you yourself. If your skin is exposed to the sunlight, your body can manufacture vitamin D. Number two is it's not only a vitamin, it is also a hormone. So these are two interesting facts about vitamin D. Vitamin D is mainly available through animal sources. Its availability from plant sources is not very good. And so, particularly for those who are strictly vegetarian and those who do not even eat egg, it is important that they must expose themselves to sunshine. So for those of us who are non-vegetarian, it is readily available in fish, in red meat, in liver, and particularly in egg yolk. Egg yolk contains enough vitamin D for you to maintain yourself. There is a problem for vegetarians because vitamin D is available in very limited quantities in vegetable sources. The one vegetable that is very richly supplied with vitamin D is mushroom. You can also have cheese for your supply of vitamin D. Remember, if your natural sources of vitamin D are low, fortification or supplementation is an important source. Fortification particularly from foods like milk and cereal that you buy from the shelves. Look for vitamin D supplementation in those fortified foods and make sure that you get your adequate nutrition from these sources. The human body requires vitamin D for its metabolism of calcium and phosphorus and also for maintaining immune function. It is extremely important for the development of bones and teeth and it is also important for development of your body's immunity. Currently in the era of COVID-19, there is a lot of interest with vitamin D because it seems that sufficient amount of vitamin D or vitamin D supplementation can help boost your body's immunity and prevent you from getting an attack of COVID-19. Vitamin D levels in the body are adequate. There is no reason for you to take a supplement. It is easy enough for you to get tested to find out your serum levels of vitamin D. If they are low, you can take a supplement. Normally, a supplement of vitamin D3 is taken as a sachet. We give this once a week in about 60,000 units to be taken for about 8 to 10 weeks depending upon how deficient you are in the vitamin. There are some people who are more prone to developing vitamin D deficiency. These are elderly people because their absorption may be a little deficient. These are people with darker skins because they may absorb a little less vitamin D. Persons whose body is completely covered and whose exposure to the sunlight is low and especially if these people are vegetarian are also more prone to developing vitamin D deficiency. Since vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, patients whose metabolism is hampered or whose intestinal absorption is hampered because of Crohn's disease and other chronic intestinal problems may have vitamin D deficiency. And in our current scenario, obese persons who have undergone bariatric surgery may have a problem with absorbing adequate amounts of vitamin D and may suffer from deficiencies. Deficiency of vitamin D in children, which is a serious condition called rickets, can cause severe musculoskeletal problems as well as growth delays and other developmental problems in children. In children particularly, if you think that their vitamin D levels may be low, make sure that they get fortified cereal, fortified milk, fortified margarine, or if nothing else, maybe cod liver oil could be given to them to maintain their levels of vitamin D at a healthy level. With over one lakh medical experts and the facility to teleconsult, experience clinic-like consultations on practice.